Should I even start this painting or should I go finish my homework? You know, I deserve a break. I'm gonna start it. Hello! Today I want to start a painting. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm a pretty artistic person. I've made some videos on my channel talking about my art. I've done a lot of work with like sculpting and color pencils and drawing, but something I haven't done a lot of is painting. Now with like all this quarantine and stuff, I've had a lot of time to like do that for fun. And I actually have this painting that I did. So this painting took me like the last three weeks to do, and I think it looks so cool. Like I'm so proud of myself. It's like this like, you know? No, it's like this, um... Why am I having a hard time describing this? It's literally boats on an ocean, okay? It's just like blue boats on a red ocean and it looks cool. At least I think it looks cool. But like I did this with oil paints and one of the cool things is like I added all this texture. You can't even see it. What if I like tilt it? Can you see that? It's like raised up a little, you know what I mean? I had fun making it and I don't know. I've just been obsessed with painting recently so I want to paint another picture and that's why we're here today. I'm still not the best at painting and another thing I'm not the best at at is drawing people. I've never done like a real person portrait, let alone a painting of a portrait. So that's what we're here to try and do today. And I'm not just gonna do a portrait of anyone. I'm gonna do a portrait of myself. So it's a self portrait. It's like the most self-centered Leo thing I could do. But I was just thinking, I'm like, you know, having a self portrait would be really cool to just hang up in your house. So that's what I wanna do. I'm just gonna paint myself. I tried looking through pictures that I have and I had a hard time actually finding them because if you go through my Instagram, it's actually kind of a lot of like far away pictures, like they're not close-ups of me, but for portraits, you typically want like a close-up picture. But then I found this picture and I thought this was perfect. It's like a cool picture. Another problem with all of this that I have is, you know, skin tones are so freaking hard. Like, I don't know if I have the capabilities to do like a color portrait and get all the undertones and all of that stuff. So I just thought about it and I was like, you know, I think a black and white portrait is the easiest way out of this. So I just did some like black and white color mixing and I turned that picture into this. So I think this one is way more doable. And I guess, let's just start. This is my painting studio. You know, it's pretty nice. It's a really good setup. Who am I kidding? This is literally trash. I literally just put an old sheet on my dining room table and this is my temporary painting area. You just gotta make do with what you have. But yeah, let me just grab one of the canvases. I'm gonna use this size canvas. As you can imagine, this is a pretty good size. Like imagine this is just like on the wall, you know? If my portrait was right here, I think that would look pretty cool. The first thing I wanna do on this canvas is literally just like draw an outline of what the whole picture is gonna look like. I usually like draw a grid on the paper and I also draw a grid on the picture so I can follow and see like, oh, this one small box has like this curve and this line and stuff like that. We can't do that today because if I draw a grid on this, it's gonna be so hard to erase. But what I have to do is just like figure out a better way to draw this on. And that's when I came up with the genius idea to use my iPad. So like, here's the picture, right? And Basically, all I'm gonna do is zoom in and then put it behind the canvas. Okay, look at that. I am literally genius. You literally just take your pencil and you like outline the edges of this and you have the perfect shape of this. Oh my gosh, guys, see, I'm telling you, I have the, the mind, mind of, of a master. master, master. I, have I have the, the mind, mind of, of a master. Mind. What's that? I don't know. Okay, so an update. <laughs> um, it's been a few hours. I may have done some work. It's not a lot, okay? I mean, I already started painting. I forgot to show you after I was done drawing and then I started painting and then I kind of painted a lot. So this is what I've done so far. I started painting this background piece. I'm sorry, okay? I don't know what happened with me. I just like sat down and I started working and I just like got into the mood, you know? I promise for the rest of this, I'm gonna remember and show you like what I'm doing. Clearly the main thing here is that I like drew all of my face and I also did like the background, just like the lines around here. So basically these are just like gradients, I guess. And then I have like table, chair, table, chair, table, chair, table chair. I promise I'm going to show you guys when I do the rest of this. But yeah, so far this isn't going too bad. This is what my palette looks like. Wow, palette tour. We got a gray and then we got another gray and then we got another gray. I guess maybe I'll see you later today. I think I'll do some more today, but yeah. Oh, yeah.
It's not the same day anymore. I thought it would be smart of me to like actually go and do some of my schoolwork. I had a lot of homework and I had lab reports to do and I had to study for quizzes and I had to do exams and I had a lot. So I decided to be responsible and do that instead of work on this painting. We're back today and now we're gonna start doing this more. So I guess let's just start with like the paints itself. I have this black paint and this white paint. So like I literally just take this black paint and just like, Oh my gosh, that's not going in. And then I guess I'll put my white paint right here. That's like the cleanest spot. So I have a few brushes. This is like this brush. And then we have this brush. This one's my favorite. I can do so much good detailing. So I use this one most often. We also have a really tiny brush for like the fine details. And then I have this one. This one's like a fluffy one for like doing those things. And then I also have this big one, which I don't need for this painting, but oh my gosh, this one literally feels so good. The best option for me is to just guess how I blend my paint because I don't know anything about color theory. So we're trying to make a dark gray. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of white and then we're gonna get a nice good chunk of black. And that's our color. I don't know, can you even see that? Like if I do this, we can just do like a little test swipe just like that. I think that's a good color. That's like dark enough. It's not too dark. I don't wanna bore you guys to death with with this whole like commentating on every single little block I do. So I'm just gonna do a time lapse of like me painting this background. There'll be more interesting commentary once I get to my face. Cause that's like the really hard part. I'm super scared for that. So enjoy the time lapse. <laughs> this whole background area so i did this line and then all of these parts but yeah that's about one hour's worth of work i have to go to class in like 10 minutes i'm just gonna do this last piece on my own time because it's just a small section and it doesn't matter and i guess i'll get back to you once i'm ready for the face <laughs> it's the next day and actually it's not the next day. It's actually two weeks later since you last saw me. Basically what happened was I had to do my homework and projects and I had finals week. The good news is I didn't do anything off camera. I'm still here like at this stage where I finished the whole background. I'm so proud of this. I managed to make this look blurry. Like, wow. Now I have to start on the face. I have it like all drawn out. I feel like shading all like the, like all those things is gonna be really hard. But I mean, I guess we just have to start and do it. So let's do that. So what I'm thinking is I'm just gonna get like this much. That's it, just like that much. You can't even see on camera, but I literally just tapped it and then I'm gonna like mix it in here. See, it's like not white, but it's very, very light gray. And I think if we just like put this all over the face and then start adding darker shades, then that will work. Okay, I'm literally so nervous. This is the first part of the face. I just do not wanna mess up. That's my biggest fear. I need to just stop talking and do it. Okay, let's do it. Here goes nothing. Oh my gosh, we added it. Okay. I think this will just be a good base coat and we'll just build on top of it. That's me acting like I know anything about painting. This is like my third time doing an oil painting ever. I mean, what I did worked here. So I think just like adding darker colors on top is gonna work. Getting into some of these details is so tricky because I have to like have perfect lines. And now this is where things go south. I need to start shading all of this and that's really freaking scary. There's like darker around the eyes. There's some right there. Like like there. Let me just like put a little right there. I know there's some like over here. You know what? I'll just get back to you once I'm happy with this because I'm scared of like messing up and focusing on the camera. So time lapse time. <laughs> I paused the time lapse for a sec because I want to comment on what I just did. Oh my gosh. I think it actually looks so good. For the camera, it kind of looks like I have a black eye. But once I do all this other stuff, I think it'll be good. I think I did such a good job. Like, look at all those details. I'm actually really proud of this so far. So, oh, I look like a zombie. Oh, let's go back to the time lapse. <laughs> gosh, it's been like two hours. I feel like I'm about to pass out. I've been painting for so long. Honestly, I'm surprised with myself. Like I cannot believe I did this. I basically did the whole face and like lips, eyes, everything. I just have like the pupils and the iris to do later. And then obviously the hair and the rest of this. But look at this, look at the ear. Oh my gosh, look at all that shading around the eyes. I literally cannot believe this. The lips were definitely the hardest part. I had such a hard time like trying to figure out all the shading and blending. I'm not gonna do any more right now because I cannot. And I guess I'll see you whenever I start this again. Hopefully it's not another two weeks, but yeah. yeah.
So it's the next day and you know, this is looking so freaking good. Okay, look, I finished up the face and then I did the hands cause the hands weren't that interesting. They're like kind of boring. So I did those off camera. I think now what I want to do is the hair since that's like the next part of the face. Okay, but here's the thing. I feel like the hair is actually going to be kind of hard to do because look, there's like so much detail in the hair with like the lighter and the darker where like the light reflects off of it. This might be where I just ruin it all. But I mean, I did the face pretty good. So maybe I'll figure out how to do the hair. Let's just start. more of this I can take. I'm starting to reach the point in creating art where I just don't want to do this anymore. Like I just want to finish this already because I'm so sick of working on it. This freaking hair just took me three hours. Like I honestly don't know how I feel about it. Does that look good? Hold on, let me do a close up. Like does that look realistic? I don't know how I feel about it. It looks good. I'm just not 100% sold on it, but I don't know how else to do it. Like this is the best I can do for the hair. So I guess we're good with that. I was going to do the eyes, but I literally feel like I'm going to pass out and second right now so i'm just gonna do those later but yeah, yeah. Oh. I think I can finish this today. Okay, the last thing to do is the like sweater and the table. I did the eyes off camera because those are like really small detail work and I didn't want to mess up. So I just focused on that. So as you can see, my hair is done, my face is done and I did the eyes. I think they look pretty good. They're not the best, but I mean, it's pretty resemblant of the original pictures. So I'm happy with them. But yeah, all we have left is this sweater and this table. And I guess we'll be done after that. It's finished, oh my gosh. I'm like nervous to show you guys. I finished it, I did the sweater, I did the table. It's still kind of wet, but oh my gosh. Let me just start off by saying, I like completely exceeded my expectations with what I could do. I like do not draw humans, let alone paint humans. Like painting is way harder than drawing, but here we go. Ta-da, can y'all see that well? Look at that. Actually, this lighting is terrible. Let me go somewhere else. Look at that, oh my gosh. I I cannot believe I did this. Like, that's me. That's me. Should I like put this in my room? That's kind of creepy though. Like having a picture of myself staring at me all day. So this is the final painting. We have all the background chairs and the walls. Then we have me, eyes, nose, mouth, hair, ears, arms. And then we have the whole sweater, the table, and even like the shadow on the table. Holy crap. I'm like so impressed with myself for this painting. But yeah, thank you for watching this whole painting journey. I think this whole thing literally took like a whole month month so i'm finally glad i'm done with this because there's always that point in art where you just don't want to do it anymore and you want to finish so the fact that i'm finally finished is finally so liberating oh my gosh probably gonna put it on my fireplace so my parents have to stare at it all the time because i'm the most important person in this house but subscribe i might make some more painting videos in the future because it's kind of fun it just takes a long time but if you have any ideas of what i should paint next then let me know in the comments because i still have some canvases left that i want to use and yeah i guess that's it. So I'll see you next week. Peace.